Hello everyone, my name is Isha Anand and I'm here with the presentation based on Critical and Creative Thinking Practice Sheet 5, April 2020. In this presentation, I'll be discussing the solutions related to reading literacy path. So let's just begin. In order to go for the solution and its discussion, it's very important to have a look at CCT5 Practice Sheet. So here we proceed. Unit 1. Sparrows here today, gone tomorrow. Read the following. What were once upon a time seen in millions throughout the country are today seen in certain pockets of India? How sparrows? Why so? Conclusively, there have been no studies to identify the exact cause behind the sudden decrease in their numbers. But studies conducted in Jharkhand India have pegged the decrease in sparrow count to be an alarming 80%. Unless you may assume this is not limited to India alone. There are a variety of reasons behind the declining sparrow count with some pointing fingers at the architecture of modern houses which leaves little space for nesting sites. Add to it the decrease in show vegetation areas as well and the result is a drastic loss in habitat. Excessive use of pesticides in agriculture is another cause, as it causes a decrease in reproductive efficiency of the sparrows by infecting their egg sheaths and its diet. Since the chief diet of sparrows is seeds, cereals and insects, which in turn are the direct victim of pesticide usage. Sparrows are known to be sedentary birds that usually do not prefer undertaking long flights. However, with the advent of mobile telephony and the corresponding erection of mobile towers, any and everywhere has made the sparrows an unwitting prey to technology. Mobile towers are known to emit radiation in the frequency of 900 to 1800 MHz, which not just harm the thin chick skull and sparrow eggs but also confuses and disorients the sparrow's navigational skills. Sparrows are rarely or rather never found in the areas having mobile towers. The Nature Forever Society NFS was founded by an Indian conservationist Mohammed Dilawar. He started his work helping the house sparrows in Nasik, emphasizing the crying need to conserve house sparrows, Dilawar said, the indifference caused by a lack of emotional connect has pushed these birds to the edge of extinction. The NFS started an international initiative to celebrate World Sparrow Day. This was first celebrated on 20th March 2010. After that, every year this day was celebrated all over the world to raise the awareness about house sparrows and other common birds affected by the environment. In 2012, the sparrow was adopted as the state bird of Delhi. After reading the text, it's time to attempt certain questions. Question number one. Based on the passage above, match column A with column B and write the answers in the space provided. There is an extra point given in column B. Before we start, it's very important to know about these two columns. Column A contains the number of paragraphs from 1 to 5 and column B contains central idea related to each paragraph. So, we have to match the correct paragraph with the correct central idea of that paragraph. Let's start with paragraph number 1. In paragraph number 1, we read that we were introduced to the problem that is the major concern was decreasing number of sparrows. So paragraph number 1 talked about this major concern or major issue. So we can say the correct option for paragraph number 1 is option number 4 
a cause for concern. Talking about the second paragraph, we have read that there were many reasons for this decline. Why these sparrows were declining? There were many reasons given in the passage. So we can say that column number 2 means paragraph number 2 can be matched with the correct option number 6. That is the grounds for the problem where we discuss the major problems that is major reasons for declining the number of sparrow count. Next comes paragraph number 3. In paragraph number 3, we majorly talked about the mobile task and its harmful effect. It means we talked about the technology. And also we can say here the technology acted as a predator. Predator means one who attacks. So, the third paragraph can be given option number one as predatory take its central idea. Talking about paragraph number four. In paragraph number four, we talked about a special society that worked for these sparrows and that helped to arise the awareness regarding the decreasing number of sparrows. So we can say they help to recognize the need of an R. So paragraph number 4 can be matched with the third option of column number B. It means recognizing the needs. In the last paragraph, we talked about a special initiative. And we talked about the celebration of World Sparrow Day. So we can say paragraph number 5 can be matched with the resourceful enterprise means something that has been done to protect these sparrows and also to give a recognition. So we see that in last paragraph it was clearly stated that World Sparrow Day is celebrated every year on 20th of March and also we read that sparrows were declared as a state bird of New Delhi. So these two things related to paragraph number 5 show that the central idea is a resourceful enterprise for paragraph number 5. So overall if we match all the options of A with options of B the correct answer is option number D. So the correct answer for question number 1 is option number D. Question number 2. Match the following collective nouns with the animals and then tick the correct option. Here we can see that we have four pictures containing different animals. Picture 1 has fish. Picture 2 has cats. Picture 3 contains crows and picture 4 has camels. In this question, we have to match the suitable collective noun related to each group of animal given above. And the choices for the collective nouns are number 1, murder, number 2, clouder, number 3, caravan, Number 4, school. So let's see the solution. The correct option is option number C. Let's check out. The word that is used to represent a group of crows is called murder. Clowder is a word used to represent a group of cats. Karama is a word used to represent a group of camels. And school is a word used to represent collection of fish or group of fish. So by this we understand that the words related to collective nouns are used to represent a group of people, animals or things. Some other examples of collective nouns are a band of musicians, a board of directors, a choir of singers, a class of students, a crowd of people, a gang of thieves, a pack of thieves, a panel of experts, a team of players 
and a troupe of dancers. Question number three. Choose the option that completes the given paragraph by correctly using five of the seven given phrases from the text. So here we have to fill the given paragraph with best five options out of the seven. We have different phrases. Phrases means a group of words that we have to fill in the given blanks. But remember the blanks are five in number whereas we have seven options. It means two options are extra. In order to begin we need to read this paragraph. The small artisans and craftspersons of India have been dashed to industrialization. There are dash in most regional communities that have for generations relied solely on weaving, handicraft, etc. as a primary source of income. So, it is safe to say that there is a dash to now support these artisans, especially in the face of a ready availability of machine-made products, imported items, and a general dash with their own culture. If things continue this way, the future truly looks bleak for our local artisans. They could well be dash. If we look at the options, we can see that all these phrases given as the options have been already used in the passage related to the sparrows. So, as we have already read that passage, we are in that position to fill the given blanks with the correct phrases. So, let's start. The small artisans and the craftsperson of India have been an unwitting prey to industrialization. Here, the word unwitting means unknowing. Unknowingly, the artisans are becoming victims of industrialization. Then, there are certain pockets in most regional communities. Certain pocket means certain parts in most regional communities that have or for generation relied solely on weaving, handicraft, etc. as a primary source of income. So, it is safe to say that there is a crying need to su now support these artisans. Crying need means an urgent need to support these artisans especially in the face of a ready availability of machine-made products, imported items and a general lack of emotional connect with their own culture. Here a lack of emotional connect means that people are not ready to buy things related to their own culture. They are more interested in buying the imported items or the machine-made goods. Last, if things continue this way, the future truly looks bleak for our local artisans. They could well be here today, gone tomorrow. It gives a message that the future of the artisans is not very bright. If they can be seen today, but it is not sure that they will exist tomorrow also. So this is the correct solution. We have the solution number B or option number B as the correct answer. Question number four. Based on your reading of the passage, complete this Peros plea for survival. Here is a small plea. Plea means a request or an appeal made by the sparrow to the humans. Let's read out. Help please humans. As you know, we don't like traveling long distances, but we have to because there has been a loss of habitat due to decrease in dash and loss of dash. Moreover, dash has made it difficult for us to find food. We request you to make dash for us to stay safe and also put out dash so that we don't go hungry and thirsty. We promise to reward you with happy sounds and sights in return. Here comes the solution for question number 4. As we have already read in the passage that there are various reasons for decrease in number of sparrow count. So based on the understanding, let's complete this sparrow's plea. Please 
help humans. As you know, we don't like traveling long distances, but we have to because there has been a loss of habitat due to decrease in dash, decrease in show vegetation and loss of habitat. Moreover, dash has made it difficult for us to find food. Dash here means excessive use of pesticide. We request you to make dash for us to stay safe and put out dash. We request you to make small sparrow houses for us to stay safe and to put out grains and water so that we don't go hungry and thirsty. We promise to reward you with happy sounds and sights in return. Question number 5. The text states that the World Sparrow Day is celebrated all over the world because the first reason is the rapidly decreasing number of sparrows is a problem across the world and is a problem not just unique to India. It means the decrease in number of sparrow has become a universal problem now and is not only limited to India. Second is in order to dash. Second reason is in order to raise awareness about house sparrows and make people aware about reducing number of house sparrows or we can also say to raise awareness about common birds affected by the environment. So these are the two reasons that state that why we need to celebrate World Sparrow Day. Question number six. The following is today's Delhiites response to the fact that the sparrow was adopted as the state bird of Delhi as far back as 2012. Rearing the following words to make sense of the response. The words are Delhi state bird, a rare species that despite is today being, it is in the, the house sparrow, arnical capital. The solution is, it is arnical that despite being Delhi state bird, the house sparrow is today a rare species in the capital. Question number 7. Mohammed Dilawar is a conservationist. Such a person is one who options are A. Manages natural habitats including parks, forests and rangelands. Option B. Favors traditional views and values. Option C. Is driven by a set of overarching beliefs and ideologies. Option D. Advocates for the protection and preservation of the environment and wildlife. So, the correct option is option number D. The correct answer is option number D, which means a person who advocates for the protection and preservation of the environment and wildlife is called conservationist. Here comes question number 8. Choose the option that is not true according to the text. Option A. Sparrows rarely undertake long flights. B. The house sparrow is the state bird of Delhi. C. Sparrows are often found perching on mobile towers. D. Sparrows are now visible only in some pockets in the country. So, the correct option is option number C, that is, sparrows are often found perching on mobile tower is a false statement. It is not a true statement, it is a false statement. Question number 9. List the possible reasons for the decline in the sparrow population. As we have already read the passage and we have read various reasons responsible for decline in number of sparrow population. So some of the reasons are, number one, architecture of modern houses, number two, decline in shrub vegetation, number three, excessive use of pesticides in agriculture. Also all these reasons have been given in paragraph number two. Here comes the last question for the part reading literacy. Question number 10. Pesticides infect the egg sheets of the sparrows. Based on your understanding of sheath, choose an option that lists 
which of the following uses a sheath? As in the figure, we can see that there are four weapons. Now we have to see that out of the given images, which of the following can be used with the sheath? First of all, let's understand the meaning of the word sheath. In the line, pesticides infect the egg sheaths of sparrow. Here, sheath means covering. So, out of these four given images, the thing or the weapon that can be covered is only figure number four, image number four, that is a sword or a knife. So, sheath means a cover. So, out of these four figures, the image number four, that is a sword, can be kept in a sheath. So, the correct answer is option number D. So, friends, with this, I come to an end of this presentation. I hope all of you have enjoyed the discussion of the solution of CCT5 related to reading literacy. Thank you for watching it.